we've obviously been pretty close. We've had some unbelievable play. Oh, oh here we go. Please, finally, can it be Ronaldinho? I just want to see Ronaldinho pop up uh, here now. It's Guardiola. No, that could be Ronaldinho. We skipped Ronaldinho. No. <laughs> What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel, so today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about eFootball 2022 Mobile, I'm actually going to be playing PES 2021 here on, uh, on my phone right now, and uh, you guys had a lot of questions from the video that I posted yesterday, pretty much the announcement of eFootball 2022 coming out on mobile, if you guys want to know the release dates and stuff, uh, go and check that out, I posted it uh, yesterday, uh, but anyway, a lot of you wanted to get into it, and I'm going to show you how to get a good start when you uh, finally get into eFootball 2022 Mobile. Uh, because you want to have the best start uh, as possible um, to get some good players and already start competing. Um, so right now, um, to the ones that haven't really played um, a PES Mobile before, and, and to be honest, I was one of those as well not that long ago. Um, but eventually I, I tested it out, I made a few episodes and it was really, really enjoyable for me. Um, and as you guys can see right there, uh, you can go ahead and practice free kicks. It's pretty. It, it's a really, really cool game um, and it all happens in, in your phone. I mean, uh, f for someone that hasn't really played many mobile games ever, I, I, I was really surprised by how good this actually looked like. And of course, uh, the, the new update is going to be having a new engine and everything, a new game engine is going to be looking so, so awesome. Um, so I cannot wait to see more uh, more gameplay, uh, but right now I'm gonna show you guys how you pretty much want to get started So if you have an account now on PES 2021 One of the things that they told us is that uh, the login bonus and stuff is not gonna be there if you haven't claimed them Before the update so what you have to do right now if you haven't done this yet Go ahead over to the gifts right here and as you guys can see you might have a lot of uh, you know um, Coins to get you have a few GP uh, as well there so why not go ahead and take this this, make sure to claim all of this right now before the update comes out on June the 2nd um, because if you have anything in your inbox and the update comes out uh, it's not going to be carrying over to the um, to the uh, new update of course to the new game uh, if you haven't claimed it already so if you missed it, the GP is going to be carrying over, the balance, the coin balance is going to be uh, carrying over as well. Um, so right now there's no point for me to go ahead and open a lot of uh, crazy packs and stuff. Um, because obviously I, I can just wait a few days and uh, we're going to be able to uh, to spend that on, on the eFootball 2022 mobile version. And uh, I'm really excited to see if we're going to get some uh, great legends, some great players right from uh, launch. It's, uh, I, I cannot wait. Make sure you guys are subscribed, drop a like, stay, uh, stay updated and ready uh, for the eFootball uh, 2022 mobile videos to us will come out on this channel. I'm going to be doing a lot of videos about that. But in the way, I'm going to show you guys my club tour before we uh, go into a couple other steps which you should do uh, before the game comes out. Look at this, guys. And I didn't even play for long. I have 97 Ronaldinho. We've obviously been pretty close. We've had some unbelievable play. Oh, oh here we go. Please. Finally, can it be Ronaldinho? I just want to see Ronaldinho pop up uh, here now. It's Guardiola. No, that could be Ronaldinho. We skipped Ronaldinho. No. Absolutely incredible. I, I cannot believe uh, I've got this guy in my club. Insane stats and... Um, yeah, it's absolutely crazy how you can get these players after playing for like a week. Uh, Van Dijk managed to get him up to 95, Kafu as well, Mbappe, Steven Gerrard. This is a special card for me because I spent like uh, so many coins. I spent uh, a long time opening packs literally until I got him and I managed to get him on my birthday as well. Uh, my favorite football player of all time and it, it was a special moment for me. So uh, really excited about that card and uh, yeah, the club is looking great guys and once again I did not play for a long time. So uh, if you have missed it, the eFootball community on mobile is much bigger than the community on console. If you search up PES 2021 mobile on YouTube, there is so much content and, and it's got hundreds of thousands of views. People are watching it every single day. Uh, it's massive, so you should definitely look that up and, and get into it. Um, but yeah, it is pretty much like if you have been watching my Dream Team series, it's pretty much like that, just with a couple of, of course, other changes um, in Dream Team. There's a, there's a few things you cannot do, um, which you could obviously do on my club. So a few things have changed, but it, it's pretty much uh, the Dream Team on, on, on mobile. And that's also what's going to be happening when eFootball 2022 comes out for the mobile. 
it's not going to be called my club anymore it is also going to be dream team on mobile as well so another thing uh, which you want to go ahead and do is that to go over here to user information you need to have a con or connect your account to a konami ID account or else uh, the players are not going to be transferring over um, so I have my owner ID here and everything I've already gone ahead and co connected this uh, Konami ID everything like that is is all good for me so I don't have to do that but make sure guys uh, go ahead and and do so if you haven't done so um, so you can go ahead and get all of your uh, players uh, and things like that to transfer over that is obviously really important uh, the legends are not going to be having any contracts anymore um, so you're not going to be able to use them in, in all of the modes but at the same time uh, it's always awesome in the beginning if you can go ahead start off fresh with a brand new team new players that always makes it really cool for me at least like a roll to glory from the beginning start working towards some big players and stuff it's not too entertaining always to start with a stacked club already you kind of want to make your way up it's a new game it's a new start so a couple of tips i would have for you guys right now because there's probably going to be a few of you that actually download pest 2021 uh, mobile get into it maybe start learning it a little bit uh, before it actually comes out you know uh, on uh, on the update of june 2nd uh, you can go ahead and play the tutorial right here or else you can go into free training and i recommend to play this a lot um, i have done so myself as well i've been here for for a long time practicing free kicks practicing shooting and stuff and I'm gonna show you uh, the controls that are gonna be the easiest because uh, I've asked so many people about this there's different opinions uh, but in the end it is uh, definitely the uh, the classic controls which is the easiest option um, to go ahead and uh, and control so right now I'm on advanced that is not a good one it is it is difficult to play with advanced controls my phone as well maybe not all of you guys have a big phone my phone is very small so I'm not able to have thousands of buttons thousands of things to do here um, so for me classic is the best and, and that is definitely what it should be practicing with um, you also have camera settings here you can go ahead and, and change I do like to have it uh, the one that uh, already is there the mid-range one works well for me but in the way with the classic controls you guys can see right there to the right that it, it, it's not that complicated at all you have the pass button um, and of course if you take the pass button and you actually aim upwards you're going to be getting a, a chip the three ball there as well um, we can also test this out for shooting if you go ahead and aim it upwards you're going to be getting a chip shot if you aim it downwards you're going to be getting a curved shot and if you just uh, shoot it normally just click it normally you're going to be getting a powerful shot so let's get this one here to uh, steve and gerard let's find them and um we will go ahead and, and test out a proper rocket of a shot and that of course is the running button so Honestly, I haven't played this game in months right now, but still, with these classic controls, it, it doesn't take that long to actually learn the game. It's definitely the best option. But anyway, Steven Gerrard, there we go. Look at that amount of power. What a player, Steven Gerrard. And uh, if they ever re-release new Steven Gerrard cards or something on eFootball 2022 Mobile, I'm gonna go crazy on that. Let's also try out a finesse shot here with Ronaldinho. He steps up, look at the curve on that one, and it is just wide. Something that I haven't learned yet, though, guys, is definitely skill moves. Um, that is something that I have to get uh, get done before uh, the game gets updated. But anyway, the corners work same as free kicks. You just go ahead and, uh, and swipe it. It's really enjoyable, guys. Uh, and I know there's going to be a lot of you who have not really played uh, PES on MOBA before that's going to be getting into it now. And obviously, uh, yeah, learning it before the update comes out. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited, guys. It's going to be a massive update. The community is already huge. So this is just going to just gonna help it even more. Here we have some things we can claim as well. And this is also a tip to you guys right now. Um, if you do have some coins laying around there, just don't spend any more of it. Just just save it because what's going to be carrying over to eFootball 2022 Mobile uh, are the GP, it is going to be the coin balance as well, as you guys can see I have 1300, so that is also going to be carrying over, which is um, incredible, um, so you can obviously spend those coins if you have any left over, or if you have gotten any of them from the rewards here or something, you can go ahead and save them, and, and hopefully you can get yourself a really nice start when eFootball 2022 Mobile comes out, and uh, yeah, maybe pack yourself some amazing players 
uh, to maybe build around and then, uh, yeah, hopefully start going into online games and stuff. Because uh, it, it's not always nice to go into online games with uh, with not a couple of decent players in there. So make sure you guys to save that if you have some of those. And of course the GP as well. You're going to be able to buy players. I have 55,000 points right now. So I'm going to be able to hopefully afford a couple of nice players in Dream Team as well. Um, to build around my squad. So um, another thing guys. The console and also the mobile is going to be separate. Um, so this account right here with 55,000 coins. The, the account with all of these legends and stuff. Uh, I can not go ahead and use that on console uh, but what's going to be happening though is that uh, the console players and the mobile players can meet online in games uh, because it is going to be cross play um, so if you have any more questions about it let me know down below in the comment section I'll probably make a couple of more videos like this with a few tips and stuff uh, how to get a good start on eFootball 2022 mobile when that launches so if you have any questions let me know down below and I'll answer them in the next episode and yeah thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to stay updated with this we are counting down the days now until this updates i'm really excited and i'll see you guys soon peace out